So hi guys, welcome back to another video on AJ5. So as you can tell by the title and yeah, by the title of this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how to keep your car secure. What I do to keep my car secure and uh, so as you can tell by the steering here, this is one of the things uh, which is the steering wheel lock stop lock basically i got this from amazon if you guys want one i leave a link in the description down below um pretty useful i rec I, I rate this um i mean i haven't seen anyone break break this in any videos online or stuff like that so i think this is quite useful it's not that expensive if you're buying a car above about a few that's cost you a few grand if not 10 20 30 grand 40 grand cars why not get one of these about 30 25 pound 25 to 30 pound on amazon I'll leave a link in the description down below. Obviously, I will turn this off, but you can get an LED light as well. If you should put it up, I think it should come on unless the battery is gone. Yeah, there it is. If you saw that, yeah. So I, I keep it switched off anyway because it doesn't make a difference. It's just going to take my battery. And yeah, so stop lock. Uh, I recommend this, guys. So this is one of the first things that I bought for the car and something else as well. So cars. What I think they're doing is basically I'm in a car park and these lot are waiting for me to come out because I just got in the car. As you can see, they've got their indicators on, but little do they know I'm not getting out. I'm filming a YouTube video, but yeah, forget them. So yeah, this is uh, my stop lock. Obviously, you've got uh, you've got this. It comes with this little key. Let me focus onto it, which goes into there. And yeah, so that's what that's one of the things. Other thing which I use, if this only works for cars that have a keyless um, start, so start stop. As you can see, it starts. Press it again, it turns off. But what I have bought for this car is an RFID pouch. Some of you may know about this. Some of you may not know about this. Hundred percent recommend this. I leave a link to this uh, in the description down below where you can get it from. It's a little bit dirty. It depends, you can get two, a pack of two or pack of one because some people have two keys. So obviously as you may have seen online, there's a lot of people who use this device. I put a little clip here if I can, uh, if I find one online, where they, they bring this little device, put it near your door and um, it detects your key from inside. So if some people leave it uh, in their, you know, attach it to their door inside or somewhere very close to their door. And what this device does, it picks up the RFID from the, it picks up the signal from the key which allows and there's two people that come so one's got the device near the door and the other person sits in the car i mean stands outside the car and once the device detects your uh key it lets them open the car and as well start the car as well but what this does is so let me let me uh, show you guys what this does so what this key does is for example i 100 percent recommend this and this as well these are not that expensive you can get two for about seven pounds or even six pounds five pounds so if you got a, you know even if you got a car that's worth a thousand pound and it's got start stop 100 percent recommend this so i'm opening it with one hand so so what i'm going to do now is put my keys into this rfid stopper pouch or oh, just let me just call it pouch for now so i'm using one hand so it's a bit of a struggle actually what i'm going to do goes into here so what i'm going to do now is Put the keys inside so now that my keys are inside the only thing is you can't have like so i've seen some people they have so many keys and so many key rings and obviously this is just to keep your keys safe so my keys are now in here and let's start uh, let's try let me put it here for better view let's try and start the car so guys yes the car did start that was because I put it in the wrong place. So as you as you may have seen from the video, I put it inside here. Let's put, let me put the keys down. I put it inside uh, this bit here. Let me focus. Yeah, I put it into here, but it's supposed to go in here. That was my mistake. So we'll try it one more time. So let me put the phone. Let me try and put it here okay so as you can see the first time around i put it into here but now we're gonna put it in 
this pouch here, you can see it. So now we'll see if the car starts. So now that it's inside, so just to clarify it, in the previous clip I put it into here, that doesn't work. You have to put it in between the two little uh, whatever, fabric or yeah, there's two little white things here. And close it, leave the keys here, leave this pouch here. It's right next to this, so it's supposed to start, but because we're using the RFID stopper thing, let's see if it starts. Nope, remote control, no engine start. So it basically says there's no keys to start the engine. Let me press it again. Hold remote control up to steer column. So it's not detecting the keys because this this pouch here is stopping the uh, the vehicle from detecting these keys. So it, it thinks that there's no keys at the moment. Someone's trying to start the car without the keys. So this is what um, you need to stop these thieves from you know using this little device that. Uh, that connects to your keys through RFID and this stops the RFID from you know going out to uh, the devices that they use so guys these two things are what I use at the moment obviously if you've got a more expensive car like a, I don't know a car worth more than uh, 50 grand or 40 even 40 30 grand is worth looking into a ghost immobilizer so what that does is before you can start the car start the engine there's a few controls that you have to do for example press this button two times uh, so one two three four five six and then you can start the car so if you don't know how uh, if, if you don't do that one two three four five six or whatever I've just done you won't be able to start the car so that's called a ghost immobilizer so if you know about Yanimize or you know other companies that you know they do these things so they also put this little tracker in the car so you can track it wherever the car is so if someone steals it and drive to i don't know wherever uh, manchester then you'll be able to track the car exactly where it is but what i <clears throat> what i use is this which cost me about 30 pounds five pounds maximum seven pounds it will cost you i'll leave a link to these two in the description down below so you can check them out um so 35 so, okay let's say 40 pounds maximum to secure your car i think it's absolutely worth it because this first of all let's talk about this one first this prevents people from um you know from th these thieves uh from activating your car's engine or even opening your car door so this is what you need to open the car door so even if i try if i even if i lock my car i won't be able to open the door if i've got these the keys inside this pouch so and obviously for newer cars you don't really need to uh press the, for this car you press the button and it opens the car but for newer cars you just put your hand in the handle and it unlocks itself so you don't really need to press any buttons all you need to do is have your keys on you put your hand inside the handle it, the car unlocks itself so i'll highly recommend this and this and it doesn't cost you that much if you think about it uh in case your car does get stolen imagine the hassle you have to go for your insurance through uh you know uh what's the word through um it's not complaining oh, i forgot the word uh yeah my mind i got my mind's blocked right now so yeah uh you know claiming that's the one claiming your um claiming for your insurance providing all the details this that blah 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 whatever and in case you may do make a grand or two loss why not just protect your car with this and this thing here doesn't cost you much 40 pounds you, you cars may be worth 10 15 grand why not spend 40 pounds to secure it so yeah this is the stop lock and this is the case flex which i have been using and yeah so yeah guys hope you enjoyed the video uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel let's try and hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year also like this video share it with your friends and families who've got you know keyless entry cars or stop stop cars or even a normal car you know uh two four four to use this stop lock thing uh and yeah, it's very useful it's not that expensive so yeah share it with your friends and families thank you guys for watching um hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below what videos you guys want to see and i'll you know bring out those videos for you guys and yeah guys thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys in my next video take care and peace